Hi Keith. Good morning Bill, how are you? I'm alright, thank you very much. Good. On the telly again? Yes. Down is doing it today, it's a bit better. Very good, yeah. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> right, we're going to make a spicy fish stew today. Oh please. And we're going to do it in about 10 minutes. That's very good. So um, that's our two bits and the, and the lovely record that we have in the middle. And the, a lovely record in the middle, yes, yes I know. Yeah. So I've start, first of all I've had the pan on so it's nice and warm, not yep. red hot. I'm going to put a bit of sesame oil in because it's like a Thai flavoured stew, Ooh, lovely. but sort of basic Asian spice. Eh? I've got a bit of a cold bill, so this is this is like manna from This will be good, I'll put a bit more chilli in, shall oh, I? Oh yes, please. That'll yeah. do the job, that will. Won't we'll put any whiskey in it though. No, That's no. good for a cold, isn't no. it? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> that should warm up in a minute. In the meantime, I've already chopped a little bit of red onion, yep. garlic, uh, chilli, and a bit of ginger. Ooh, nice. Um, and I'm just going to put the onions in there. Now you're sweating the onions, you don't want them to get too brown. Um, but I, first of all, I want to tell you what I want to do today. I want to nail my colours to the mast. Go on then. But I couldn't get a mast. No. Laurie couldn't get down the street. Oh, what a shame. So what I'm going to do is take my colours yes. to my wooden spoon. <laughs> And there you are. Can you read that? I can read it. It says cooking is better than ready meals. And I believe that, don't you? I believe it too. Oh, well. So if we use that spoon, <laughs> we won't forget that, will we? No, we won't, we won't that. forget that. It's not that difficult to, to, to remember anyway, really. You can see anyway. this on people can see this on YouTube. Yeah, and the one Tonight. we did the other week. Yes. The Cassolet. Yes. And it's on YouTube and the Cassolet one is called Bill and Keith's Cassolet. Right. And this one is called Bill and Keith's Spicy Fish Stew. Well, isn't that exactly? Uh, that's easy to remember as well, isn't it's it? It's very easy to remember. Cooking is better than ready mails. Yes, yeah, you're going to see this if you yeah, go on to YouTube. All right. So we're sweating down those onions. Yeah. We don't want to get them too coloured. Is this your own recipe, Bill, by the way? Yeah, it is really. I went out for a lovely Thai meal with some friends on Saturday night mm -hmm. and I had um, fish it, that was cooked in, in batter uh, with a lovely tomato spicy sauce and I thought that'd be lovely. Mm. But also, I had some fish at the bottom of the freezer, frozen, a few prawns in the bottom of the freezer, frozen, and I wanted to use it all up. Because well, right. uh, you know what the budget is on this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, right. It's not so like that, steady cook, is it? That's going down now. <laughs> now, I'm going to do something which is great on the radio and on the telly mm. that I've never done before. Go on. Cooking in a microwave. Oh. I like a microwave for warming up my milk for my coffee. Yes. Or for warming up leftovers. I've never cooked in it. We're going to try You've it. You've never cooked milk? No. Gosh. Sticky rice. It's like a Ooh. Thai thing, isn't it? Lovely yeah. Chinese thing. So that is what I did. I poured about a cupful, I guess, of glutinous rice in mm -hmm. there, um, which is sort of like Chinese... Uh, I suppose it's sort of a bit like pudding rice, isn't it? It, it releases its starch. Right. You know, it's the same... You know, same sort of thing. And, you and you've got some leaves. What are those leaves? They're, are they? they're called lime leaves. Mm -hmm. I just always have a bag of frozen ones. They're lovely. But what I did, I covered it, just about covered it with water and a little bit more, but like a quarter of an inch of water on top of that. Did that about an hour ago because it needs to soak a little bit. I put a dessert spoonful of vinegar in there. I use rice vinegar. Could be any white vinegar, mm -hmm. cider vinegar, wine vinegar, anything. And about the same amount of sugar and a tiny bit of salt. And just stirred it around, let it rest. Now I'm gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna put it in the microwave. For how long? We're gonna try, we're gonna start it up for about three and a half minutes. Right. Three, four minutes. On high? On high, yeah. We're not gonna do it now because it'll be too noisy. Ah. We're just gonna finish that soup now. Right, okay. The stew, the stew base. Yes. So, the onions are nice and soft now, aren't they? They're not too coloured. Mm -hmm. Red onions, I always think they look nicer. People say they're sweeter, do you think they are? Well, I think they are sweeter. The other thing with, you know there's this old thing that I think is quite true. Mm. The more colour there is in food, the better it is for you. Is that right? That's, that's why mm. dark green cabbage is, is better for you than white cabbage. Well, it's, all, it's apparently more vitamins and more variety. But I'm going mainly red today. So that's your, uh, what would we put, the garlic, yeah. the ginger, ginger and the chilli. And the chilli, that's right. all in there. It'll soon be time for the record, by the way. I know, I'm racing it. Just, just to, to let you know. I know. I don't want to spoil my sign, do I? Right. <laughs> there we go. Look at Cooking that. is better than ready meals. I think it is. We're I, gonna this talk, is our mantra. We're going to talk about that because we're going to be leisurely. We've got all the work to do in the first half. Right. We're going to have a leisurely chat in the second half. I love it. I like anything like that, don't you? I do. I like a leisurely chat, Bill. Now, I'm going to put the tomatoes in. <laughs> Dinner yeah. tomatoes. And simply because it was lying around in the veg bit of the fridge, not going anywhere, and it needed to use up. A little, little bit of celery. Little bit of celery. Yeah, I've got it, it doesn't matter. But that's the great thing about cooking, isn't it? You use up what you've got left. Lovely. 
This all looks very healthy. Well, that's going to gonna simmer while we listen to a lovely record. And here it is, Bill. I think you'll enjoy this one. Fantastic. So, Bill, a good record again. I like that one again. I was smashing that one. That nice, and it? everything was done just at the right time. Everything was done, yes. Now, we've got a lovely, sort of rich, sort of stewy bass Look, going on see, there. Normally, I'd say I wish you could see it, but if you look at YouTube, <laughs> you can. In case. Uh, what's Spicy it? fish stew. Yes, you'll find that later on. And you can see it. As for well as. For a change. Yes, as well for as. A change. Enjoying Bill's lovely voice and his lovely <laughs> sense of humour, you can see what the old boy looks like. <laughs> Oh, that'll spoil it for everybody. <laughs> Come off their dinner. There we go, look. Fish. I've chopped up a bit of white fish. Don't yeah. matter what's Any on it. This is bossa or whatever it's called. Right. Um, and a few frozen prawns. Right. Quantities are very important. I've used what was left in the bag. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I had. All right, well, there you are then. So that all goes in there. Yeah. I chopped up a little bit of uh, <laughs> spring onion. Yep. Yeah. And a little bit of the old uh, coriander. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I've okay. chopped up more than I need for the stew, because mm -hmm. that'll be the lovely ganache, won't it, on the top? The ganache? Which always looks nice. A bit of green on the top, a bit of garnish. Oh, okay. A few of these lime leaves, which are lovely. You can buy them dried as well. Is ganache you just your way of saying garnish? Yeah. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah, it's not that. It's, it's not a technical It's term. not that elephant all dressed up. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I wondered, is he? Right, oh. Stir all that in. Yeah. All you've got to do, really, mm. is get that fish hot. Once it's hot, it's cooked. Right. Same with the prawns. Right, okay. So we leave that going on there. Leave it going on. I put a little bit of this in. A little bit of fish Thai sauce. Fish Thai sauce. Yep. Because it's got that um, umami in it. That's which it. sounds like something out of uh, Tune Stars. Doesn't it? It sounds <laughs> like that catch Oh, yes, it does. Yeah. But it's that sort of fermented, savoury taste that you get in. You get it in fish sauce. You get it in Worcester mm. sauce, you get it in soy sauce. Okay. It's, a four, it's supposed to be the fifth flavour, the fifth biggest flavour. Well, and it's, it's what in all Asian food. The smell is fantastic. It's lovely. I'm looking forward to it. Um, now, Bill, while that's all stewing away... Yeah. Okay, that'll be about another five minutes. All right, so cooking is better than ready meals. It is. Come but, on, then. Well, I was looking today about fish. I was looking at what you're supposed to buy, what you're not supposed to buy. Uh, I looked on the internet. It's a minefield. And I think it's difficult enough for people that are learning to cook or trying out cooking to go and buy the ingredients and work out a recipe without having to make moral and ethical decisions about what they're buying. So I think once you've started cooking, you can think about that later. Also, a lot of people don't have the luxury. They don't have the choice between a 10 quid chicken or a three and a half, four quid chicken. That's a very good point. And I think the supermarkets have to take responsibility mm. for making sure that the stuff there is okay to buy, really. Mm. And there's so many different grades now of everything. Yes, there are. Very confusing, isn't it? But I think get cooking, and then, you know, worry about the politics a bit later. All right, right. I think that's a good idea. And talking about that, let's see how that rice did. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! <laughs> so, we put that in for three minutes, three, yeah. four minutes, didn't yes. we? We took it out and we stirred it. We managed to steal another four minutes from somewhere. I know, it's amazing. Oh, time is wonderful. And it's I elastic know. on the radio. The record didn't seem as well as that, did it? <laughs> and there you go. Very good. There it is. Look, let's give it a stir. That's sticky, isn't it? That's, what, that's yeah. why they call it sticky rice. Lovely. And it's got a lovely sweet and sour flavour to it. So we'll let that finish off. Mm. Obviously, if you were clever, you'd probably use a kitchen towel or something so you didn't burn your hands when you got that out. Oh, did you burn your hands? No, oh. I didn't, because I don't, but somebody else might. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. There we are. We're ready to go. I'm going to dish this up now. Wonderful. Just check that that fish is warm. Yes, it is. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. So, are we going to pop up? Lovely sticky rice, yeah. and again the colour of the lime leaves is lovely, don't you think? It is nice. I like a bit of colour, I don't. Mm. It's very nice. This looks like it's going to be very good. I think it'll be lovely. And then that love. Look at that. Oops. Beautiful. Piping hot, spicy. Not too spicy. Very, very nice indeed. A little sprinkle. Of the ganache. Ganache. <laughs> and we're ready to roll. What do you think of that? I think it's very good and much better than a ready meal. Oh, and do you know how much that cost? No. Nothing, because it was all left over. <laughs> but if I'd have paid for it, two, three, yeah. three and a half quid, it's going to be a meal for four. Is it? Don't think you can buy that in a con container. I saw it as a larger meal for two people. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> you're out, Dan, you're not eating. <laughs> there we go. Perfect.